Hello everybody! Well, today in our class we are going to start working with the page number 66, this page. Well, last class we did this and now we start with 66. Have, do and go. So you already know the meaning of this have, tener o ingerir cualquier alimento. Do and go, hacer y también ir, no? Go. For example, here, they have lunch at one. Aquí, ¿qué significado tiene have? Ingerir algún alimento o tener? If you're talking about lunch. Ajá, uh -huh, ingerir un alimento, sea sólido o líquido. Por ejemplo, I have coffee o I have a sandwich. I always do my homework in bed. Medio incómodo debe ser. My parents go shopping on Saturday afternoon. So here you have expressions with have, do, and go. Here. You are going to write the words that you have here next to the correct verb. Have, do, or go. For example, have lunch. Do my homework. Go shopping. So use these words and complete the charts for the verb have, the verb do, and the verb go. So make a pause and complete. Finish? Well, now we are going to check your answers. Have lunch, have a party, have breakfast, and have a good time. Have a good time no se traduce literal, no es tener un buen tiempo, sino pasar un buen momento. Do, do homework, do the housework. What is the difference homework and housework? Housework, you cleaning, you do the cleaning at home. You do the dishes or you, I don't know, you clean your bedroom, so housework. Do some exercise and go, go shopping, go for a walk. Go for a walk is ir de paseo o pasear. Go on vacation. Ojo, it's vacation, no vacation. Go to work and go home. Compare your answers. And here you are going to write the past of have, do, and go. Eso sí, no les voy a dar la respuesta porque ustedes ya saben. Okay, so write the simple past of these three verbs. <laughs> 